the Brentech here where tech is made simple. So the next stable release of Microsoft Edge is going to be Edge version 128, which according to the release schedule should be rolling out starting the 22nd of August, which will be the Thursday of that week, moving into the weekend. And just a quick video to let you know about a change regarding updates to the Edge browser, because as you may well know on the channel, uh, we always talk about heading to the main menu, help and feedback about Microsoft Edge, and this process will force the update or update the browser if it hasn't done so already. Now, in regards to uh, updates, um, Edge 128, which is currently um, in the beta channel, and rolled out to the beta channel um, yesterday in my region on the 1st of August, um, has a new feature to get the latest updates with instant updates. So instant updates will be a feature that um, is going to become available in our next stable release. Now basically just to describe how this is all going to work, um, according to Microsoft, Microsoft Edge Instant Updates is designed to recognize when you're actively using your browser or computer, which they say ensures an uninterrupted browsing experience. So basically um, what this is all about is if... Uh, uh, you step away from your computer, what will happen? So when the browser um, it's kind of recognizes that you are not using your PC or your browser, um, it's designed to restart and update the browser when it isn't in use. But just take note though, there is a possibility, Microsoft says, of losing unsaved work during the restart, which is a little bit dodgy in my, in, in my personal opinion. But the good news is, although the feature, according to Microsoft, will be off by default, instant updates. You will be able to turn it on by heading to your uh, privacy search and services page and under the security section when version 128 rolls out, under this section you will see a toggle um, to turn on the instant updates. So thankfully it will be opt-in, which I'm always in favor of. So instant updates are making their way into Edge version 128 which is our next stable release. And then just to make two so-called, um, for want of a better word, honorable mentions. And we have posted about these on the channel previously. And I thought just to mention this quickly, is version 128 is also going to start the deprecation of the followable web feature. So according to Microsoft, um, this is to improve the user experience and the followable web feature is deprecated. And what that's all about is the follow this creator and i have posted on this and i'll leave a video link down below and in the end screen and this is currently in the stable version and also in canary which i'm showing you currently for this video if we head back to our privacy search and services page and we scroll right down to services yeah it says show collections in microsoft edge so already microsoft has removed all references to the follow creator feature that was previously available with a setting and in version 128 they are going to fully deprecate uh, that follow creator this creator feature or follow or followable web content as microsoft is um, calling it um, when it comes to the actual deprecation of the feature and then something else just to mention as i have spoken about previously uh, is regarding the SSE3 requirement where Microsoft Edge is uh, stopping supporting CPUs that lack SSE3 and I've posted a whole video on that and that's also going to be made available um, in Edge version 128 and impacted devices um, with these older CPUs apparently will see a banner in Microsoft Edge version uh, 126 and also 127 if you are affected just giving you a warning that those older cpus without sse3 are going to be deprecated in version 128 so that's just kind of three features i wanted to bring your attention to and the main one being instant updates because we haven't mentioned that um, previously on the channel and obviously when 128 does roll out in a week or two's time i will post and let you guys know about it so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one